bright light from the laser. Laser, 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 laser. Very bright light from the laser. Hey guys, it's Mick from Mix Labs. So today I've got a laser back in the office that needs alignment. Let's have a look at the machine. Let's have a look inside and see what we can do with it. To get started, you will need to take the top cover off. Now that's just held on by 10 screws, four aside and two at the top. You'll also need to take off the adjustment panel on the side that's held on by the two lock screws. They've got the little nubs on them that you can actually undo with your fingers. I mean, if you look inside it, there'll be an Allen key. For the laser to operate in service mode with the cover off, you'll need to manually defeat the interlocks. There's one on the front and one on the back. The little magnet is on a lever, so all you need to do is fold it over on top of the reed switch and that'll defeat the interlocks and you can work with the laser with the cover off. Now, once inside, you'll see the two modules and the adjustment optics in front of it. First thing you wanna do is open up your controller software and uh, create a spot or a single beam and then dim it down to 15%. You'll need a little black piece of L-shaped uh, metal for blacking out each one of the modules. So what we're going to do is we're going to tune one module first and then we're going to tune the other one and then we'll bring them all together with the main optics. And that should give us the nice sharp beam. So with a little L bracket, first cover the, the left-hand side or the, the inner more module. Just sit it somewhere in front of the mirror or in front of the laser module itself so it covers the window. Don't use reflective materials so we don't have light bouncing back inside onto the actual diodes and it could cause damage to them. Now what I've done is the little Allen key that comes inside the unit, I've put a bit of tape around it. So if you do happen to drop it or it slips out inside the uh, unit, it's gonna minimize touching anything conductive. So the next thing, what you'll see on the side of the module, there are five sets of four cross position screws. And that's your up, down, left and right for each diode. Now go to your software and turn on just red. So we're gonna start off with the red on the first module. From left to right, the first two are blue, green, and then four reds. Move those around and you'll see the actual lines moving. Time to start alignment. We start with the red, adjusting the horizontal and vertical screws to move the spots left and right, up and down until they are nicely overlapped. This is the way I prefer to do it. Um, in the shops, they might actually put them in a pattern next to each other and above each other the way that mirrors are knife edged inside the module this is not important because over a very long distance the divergence of the laser is actually greater than the uh, the distance between the dots so they'll blend together anyway when the reds are all perfectly straight and overlapping move on to the green go to your color palette and tweak it to yellow just so that a little bit of green starts coming through the red now start adjusting the green screws up and down, left and right. With the vertical screws, move the green beam up and down so it nicely lines up with the top and bottom of the red beam. Once that's aligned, move the green beam to the right edge of the red spot. The reason for that is the green and blue diodes do not give off a, a round or circular spot. They give off a strip. So by combining the strips of the green and blue on each module and putting them side by side, the green and blue beams a little bit wider, they'll nicely fill in the diameter of the red beam. Once you have that nice and straight, turn off the red. Next, take the L bracket that's blocking the inner laser and move it across to the first laser that you just tuned. There is a ribbon cable and that's where your main lines are coming in to power the diodes. So be super careful. So with the Allen keys, again, repeat the same process. Set your color palette to red, align the red, then the green, make it a perfect yellow, and then bring in the blue and make it a perfect white. And remember the blue and green this time sit to the left edge of the red dot. Now, when you've got that nicely tuned, take off the L bracket and with the optic in front of the left inner laser, tweak it up and down to overlap your red dots perfectly and your blue and green dots, they should be touching each other, but not overlapping. So they will create a more of a wider rectangle instead of a thin strip. And this way it should come as close as possible to a spot as you can. Now reassemble the laser. Don't forget to reattach the earth pin. And there you go. And that's how to basically align all the individual diodes that make up the red and the blue and the green, and then on top of each other to make the white. Um, don't forget to subscribe, hit like, and check out my Facebook page for more interaction and contact details. See you next time. Very bright light from the laser. Laser, 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 laser. Very bright light.